addition formula in trigonometry. All right. Now sine zero. Mm -hmm. You know this one already, right? So very famous zero. Sine thirty. That's half, right? Okay, zero point five. Okay, sine forty-five. One over square root two, right? All right. Now what about sixty? Sine sixty. Square root three over two. Uh huh. Sine ninety. One over one, which is one. Okay, you know this one, right? Okay, so now, uh, separately, we have to study addition formula, which is, okay, in case they ask you, oh, what about 75? See, okay, so let's talk about that. Sine 75. Simply, uh, I can show you, uh, maybe, uh, why, which is a proof, I can prove, but, uh, before that, I want you to remember this one, just like this one. Very simple. Sine 75 means, okay, sine 30 plus sine 35 plus 35. That means, uh -huh, this addition rule, okay, addition formula. So in this case, like this one, sine 30, then cosine 35 plus sine 45, you could change 45 and 30, okay? Then cosine 30, okay? Simply, uh, you just calculate from this one, okay? Sine 30 means half, half, like this, okay? Cosine 45 is 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 2 times cosine 30, which is Two, three, over two. All right, let's calculate this one then. Very simple. Bottom is two square two. Top is square three and one together. Okay, so then you can say square three plus one. That's it. All right. Now sine fifteen. Sine fifteen means like okay. Uh, you can set up this one like this. Sine. 45 minus 30. Oh, you know what? Simply, uh, if we have a plus, then plus, minus, minus. In sign, cosine law is opposite. Okay, so anyway, okay, we can do this one this way then. Okay, uh, sine 45 times cosine negative 30. Okay, now plus. Okay, plus. Then the next one is you exchange. Okay, so then it's a sine negative 30 cosine 45. Uh huh. Let's think about this one. Sine 45, okay, you guys know this one already. 1 over square root 2. Okay, time. Cosine negative. Cosine negative positive doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Okay, that means the cosine negative a means cosine a. Same thing. Okay, so in this case, the negative not going to hurt that uh, cosine. Okay, so same thing, cosine 30. Okay, square root 3 over 2. All right. Now this one, sine negative 30. Sine is different. Sine negative, then it's negative. Okay, that means a negative sine 30. Sine 30 is a half, so half right here. Ooh, so simple. Okay, cosine 45, 1 over square root 2. Oh, man, which is what? Okay, you have the same bottom. Okay, so 2 square root 2. Okay, now this one is square root 3 minus 1. Whoa, almost the same, but this one is a plus, this one is minus. That's the only difference, all right? Oh, man, so please remember these two today. Then, uh, tangent, cosine, that. Okay, if you know, like I said, if you know sine, you can get cosine later. No problem. All right, uh, let's remember this one one more time. Okay, so uh, sine alpha plus beta means addition rule. So, that means sine alpha, then cosine beta, plus 
Remember that one? Plus sine theta then cosine alpha. Whoa! Okay, now, this is really, really important, okay? So, to remember, this is very simple formula, right? But very important. Now, what if we have a subtraction, like this, minus? Oh, if we have a minus, simply, this one can be minus. That's all you have to worry, okay, today. All right, this one is a plus, plus, minus, minus. Wow, but sine alpha, cosine beta, and sine beta, cosine alpha. So just say it changed. That's it. All right.